or difference. Yeah, cool. All right. bass player um joel or chopper whatever you call him he um he was a great friend of ours it was just time it was just time for him to part ways with us and um it just was a mutual thing and so he yeah, definitely we just saw him a week ago we're, yeah we're still great friends with him we keep in touch with him and it's not anything on bad terms he's actually in a new band now uh called the widow jenkins and so you can check them out i think they're on tour right yeah, now. yeah they're on tour right now so um but that yeah we're still good with him it was just it was just kind of time for uh us to do different stuff with our lives and, and things him like too. that. So, yeah. 
So, all right. I think I saw a question back here. Yeah, that dude. Where do we see ourselves in five years? Josh, where do we see ourselves in five years? Over 30. <laughs> Except for Dave. Yeah. I, 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 would, I would guess five years in we the future. We don't really know where we see uh, ourselves in five years. I guess the band is definitely something that we want to pursue and be able to do as a, you know, uh, something serious and be able to really support our families and everything. But you never know. We do have wives and we're going to start having kids and um, stuff like that. So it's, it's definitely, that's way more important to us than our jobs. So, um, you know, as long as we can do it and be able to have a thriving family and stuff like that, we will. But, um, you know, you never know. We want to we wanna be in music as long as possible, even if it's not Emory. We'll, we would like to re just record music or write songs for other people, things like that. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Matt would like to get into televangelism. Think I can make it? Actually, Matt, you if know you what? If you do think you can make it, send him money. Actually, we have a, a good thing going with Matt and our, our old drummer, Seth. Um, we wanna, they want to start a cooking show. I'm a co-creator. Matt really enjoys cooking. Yep. And Josh came up with a great name for it. And this will hopefully be on the Food Network or something like it's that. It's me and our old drummer, Seth. And here's the idea. It's kind of like a sitcom gag cooking show where we always cook. We, we kind of screw up a lot, but we get things right. The, Josh came up, up with the name of the show. It's called Taste Buds. Pretty clever, huh? Yeah. So we hear about it. Call the Food Network and tell them you want it here. It's like a double meaning. I'm supposed to be, uh, what am I, the nosy neighbor? Toby's a nosy neighbor. That always like steals pies and stuff like that. So, so we'll, see, cool. we'll see where that goes. Here's a good it's question. Loosely right based here. on our lives. Loosely based. Superman, Batman, or Spider Man? Hey. Me, Batman. definitely from the day I Batman. was born, Spider Man. I love Spider Man. So. Well, here's the thing. It's Batman. Do we like him better or who would actually win? Oh, huh? who would win in a fight or who do we like? Well, Superman would definitely win in a fight. Superman would win in a fight. No doubt about that's that. The opposite opposite of Everybody knows that, right? Unless. But that's I do the like, opposite of truth. Are you crazy? But unless you're Superman, Superman man, obviously wins then there's the fights, but Superman yeah. is the best of everything. Yeah. Have you seen Spider-Man? Yeah, he can swing. He got him. bit by a spider and lived. But my favorite though is Batman. Batman's the coolest. Superman's the strongest. We had a question right here too. Spider-Man gets the most girls. He asked what inspired us to do the acoustic stuff. Um, well, we kind of were talking about how we've been touring on this album for a long time, and all our tours are always just regular and normal the way we always do it. And so we released the, uh, the re-release with some acoustic stuff on it, and so we thought it'd be really fun and different to do that. And we figured a lot of our more devoted fans or people who really wanted to hear songs in a different way would come out. And uh, so, you know, we, we wanted to be more intimate and things like that. So and that's why you guys are here. You're like our best fans in the whole world. So thank you. All right, how about another question for like Anybody? I thought I saw one. There we go. What is our favorite band to tour with? Um, well, we really didn't like U2 or The Police. They were kind of jerky. So, um, but guys that we do like, um, we love almost any band from Canada. I don't know why, but they're like the coolest people in the world. And, um, and you know what? The truth is, we really love the bands that are on our label. I mean, I don't know, like if you haven't really checked out Tooth and Nail Records. There's some bands on there that are just amazing. And, uh, and I'm not just saying plugging our label. It's really, really good. So uh, most of the bands on our label are actually really cool people to hang out with, and we love their music. So good question. All right, let's play another song. 